Hello, Linux enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting update on the world of open source. Today, we're diving into the latest release, Linux kernel 6.7. So grab your favorite beverage, sit back, and let's explore the fantastic features packed into this release. A new year, a new Linux kernel release. Welcome to 2024 with Linux kernel 6.7, featuring a slew of improvements and some surprises left out from the previous release. This non-LTS release offers a plethora of enhancements. Stick around if you're eager to stay on the bleeding edge of Linux. Our journey begins with Intel's Meteor Lake processors. Native support for Intel Meteor Lake graphics is now a reality. Stepping out from behind the experimental curtain. Dive into the details and take advantage of it on laptops equipped with first-generation Core Ultra processors. Additionally, Groundwork has been laid for Intel's upcoming Arrow Lake and Lunar Lake chips in Turbostat, offering insights into processor frequency, idle statistics, and more. However, it's not all additions. Support for Intel Itanium IA64 has been dropped in kernel 6.7. RISV enthusiasts, rejoice! Kernel 6.7 introduces a software shadow call stack, adding a layer of protection against accidents and malicious actions. Explore CBO.0 support in user space, CBOs in ACPI-based systems, and various fixes. For those unfamiliar with shadow stacks, you can read up on their uses for a better understanding. AMD users, this one's for you. Seamless boot functionality now extends to GPUs supporting DisplayCore Next 3.0 and later, including Radeon, RDNA 2, RDNA 3, and future GPUs. Say goodbye to screen flickering after a power button press. Error Detection and Correction, EDAC, also make their way to the Versal line of SOCs, adding an EDAC driver for the RAS features on integrated Xilinx DDR memory controllers. Linux Kernel 6.7 introduces the Bikachev's file system, a copy-on-write, cow system focusing on reliability and robustness. Explore new features in BTOFs, larger page size support with F2FS, and improvements to IBM journaled file system, JFS. For a deeper dive into these file systems, check out the latest kernel release. For those on rolling release distros like Arch or Fedora, expect an upgrade soon after distro devs conduct thorough testing. Visit the official website to source the tarball for the latest Linux kernel release. Keep in mind, it might take some time for the latest release to be available. That wraps up our journey through the Linux kernel 6.7 release. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more Linux-related content. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding!